Yeah, and you're so involved with uh, clinical interest. I mean, what else is up and coming on the horizon? I mean, back in the 90s uh, and looking to today, how many changes, how many more options there are out yeah. there? Uh, what can we expect in the next five to 10 years? Yeah, it's it's been a stunning ride for me. I started my practice in 1990. Um, we had one or two options surgically. We had one option medical oncology. We had one option. The, the fundamental theme is that breast cancer is not a single disease. It's a family of diseases. And it's a complicated family. And, and the goal here is to match the treatment with the disease that the patient has. It's what we do with infectious diseases. We do a culture and sensitivity and we see what the bacteria respond to and we give them just that one drug. We don't give them six antibiotics and hope one of them works. And so this is what's been called personalized medicine. Uh, I like that term. Uh, and so that's where all of the progress is right now and where all the excitement is. Right, right. Are there any other thoughts that you'd like to add or any advice for doctors out there who may be watching, patients out there who are you know, struggling with trying to find the right doctor or the right answer, or doctors like you who are saying, I, I don't get where the debate is? Yeah. Well, I think that I would have two messages. One would be screening matters. Um, in a world of really good surgery and good medicine and good radiation, early detection is still our best weapon. Women who have stage one breast cancer do a lot better than women with stage two or stage three. So hopefully through vehicles like the Miami Breast Conference, we can shed light on the controversies about screening and eventually put them to rest. The second thing is, is that breast cancer is complicated. It's really about a team. And so the patient needs to find not the doctor, but the team to work with. You need surgery and medical oncology and radiation and pathology and radiology and genetics, all looking at your case from different perspectives so that the, the approach is a comprehensive approach. Um, so that's really what the patient's looking for. Is that happening in the medical community? Are all of these disciplines looking because they are coming at it from different angles? Are they all working together? Or are you finding that it's difficult to get that communication together? I think that we're headed in the right direction. Um, doctors are busy. Breast is a high volume business. We see a lot of patients. So that there is an accreditation program through the American College of Surgeons which is called NAPBC, the National Accreditation Program for Breast Centers. What they mandate is for you to get accredited, for you to get the good housekeeping seal of approval, you really have to present most, if not all, of your patients' cases to this group. So we do that in Brooklyn routinely. We spend about three hours every Tuesday going over every single patient with the entire team. I think that's good medicine. I think it's good for our patients. Um, so I think there's a national trend towards doing that. It really should be the standard of care.